All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli. Seems like they found the calm down in there. Now we can actually record something. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli. Today we're gonna be playing Castle Cats. Apparently, this is an idle game. There's no voices, music on the little screen at all. Actually, there's no sound at all, and my sound is pretty much up there. Okay. Okay, yeah, there is sound. Okay, so apparently I can change the face of my cat. I think this is more of me. Oh, I can actually dress him up too. <laughs> I like green, but I'm going to be mysterious. There we go. Perfection. This game looked pretty weird from what I saw. But yeah, from what I saw on the screenshots, it looked pretty weird. Didn't really show any, like, actual gameplay. Okay. Just normal exploration. Okay, so you have re a heroic skill. Wait, is this literally just sending your cats on adventures? Okay. Oh, what the fuck is oh, this zombie dog? Oh, it's a tapping game, too. Okay, that's what it is. Oh, well then. <laughs> so the tapping game also has, like, little skills you can use. I was about to say, we're definitely not doing any damage, especially if that's... If that little energy bar at the top is what we use, or well, how much energy or how many attacks we can use, then we're definitely weren't going to kill it. We get to see there's skills to help out. There's no skip buttons for the story. All right, to buy ourselves a fort. Okay, okay, so the more you upgraded, the more cats you can hold. Oh my. Let's go fight the dragon then. Okay, so you can also wait for them to finish it themselves. It's kind of weird finding another cat game. Now that I think about it, from what I've seen, there aren't many like dog games <laughs> or birds or anything like that. There's a lot of fish games, though. That I do know.
You just basically unbox cats. <laughs> Okay, so didn't they just leave us? There's an airplane cat for a dollar. <laughs> oh, you can pick them up too. Oh, so you can get them to scratch stuff for more stuff. I guess you would be scratching. Just basically shaking down trees for gold. Alright. Oh damn. From what I see at the top left, there's like a hundred and eighty one cats. Okay, so this skill is required. All right, keep going. You're the only one who could do that, so you go on the journey. Oh, so I guess that's like a story one. I think I only have one person with that. I definitely don't have anybody with the hammer. Let's say sure, let's join in on the fight. Thank you. Got some planks, he leveled up. So we can still custom customize our cat. So your guild has to be level six for that. Oh god. I definitely want that. Oh, that one, that one looks pretty cool too. Kung Fu Cat. Okay, so you can change the color. What other weapons do you have? Oh, because it needs to put the picture up here at the top. That's what it was. All right, so basically updates and stuff. Notifications. You turn those on if you need them. You also have their Facebook and Twitter. All 
All right, you go do that. Yeah. Let's see. Can we open the box yet? Okay, so we have a cat for the building. Go on that quest and. So how would you evolve them? So you would need one of these little evolution flames. So I'm guessing you get that through one of the quests. Noted. I can also add more quest slots if I need to. We are now level three. So, okay, so that gives us resources now. So how does one upgrade this castle or fort? Ah, okay. So you come in here for all that. Oh god, you can also buy normal resources too. Alright. That explains a little bit. Oh no, you're in the way. Okay, so I need to get everybody else out of their places. There we go. And let's join a fight. I don't know, it seems very tedious, personally, from what I see. I guess it's somewhat of an idle game. But I mean, you can't just go away for like two minutes and come back, so... Yeah, I, I classify it as somewhat of an idle game. I think that's good enough. Seems like we're killing everything pretty fast for now. But then again, we're, we are still level 3, so... Shut up. Alright, so this is daily quests. What the hell is this thing? I guess that's a special box where you would open up for certain characters that set them. It's an owl, owl carrier. So he is a flame? Ah, so you have to go through one of those. Okay, there's mostly just silhouettes. I say, so I, do I just hold them over things? And they 
get all the goad. That's really weird. This whole game's weird. <laughs> Just to make sure it's the seeds. Oh god, this guy has a lot more HP. Okay, so fighting those things basically just shorten the time. Okay, so wherever you would like be defeated at is where it would stop. Noted, okay. It's a lot more simple than I thought it would be. Oh, and I think we're almost out of energy now that I think about it. If you guys look at this right here, that's where, whoops. If you guys look at the very top where the yellow bar is, that's pretty much how much stamina we have. So there is a stamina system. Okay. Noted. Smarter quest refreshes in like three minutes. To be honest, I think this is gonna be my last one, then we're just gonna get this off there. But say too bad our character can't really do anything special. It's mostly just the cats we bring in. I don't know. Not, not really my type of game. For sure. But maybe for any other cat lover, if you want to try out the game, go for it. What's this star thing? I'll oh, just pack it and stuff. But yeah. With that said... I say try out the game, at least, if you like, uh, cats. <laughs> My player cat. I can even pick him up. I can pick up the other ones. I can't pick him up. Alright then. They don't even have their equipment on there or anything like that, now that I think about it. Is there a way to change that? So I can unlock the characters with um, diamonds or crystals, whichever one. Okay. Hmm. Plus apparently this game has a lot of notifications. Oh, because it's telling me that a quest is finished or something. But yeah. We're going to end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until then, peace out.